Hello fellow viewers, you're watching my channel and what I'm about to do today is fix a bit of a whole problem Mr. Freeze here has which I believe houses his brain and his blood vessels and whatnot. I believe the reason he's all bluish and pale is because he doesn't have blood and blood vessels and what what and I'm and I'm talking about blood here so what we're about to do today is take this model back to the modeling application which is lightweight for me and fix the hole and try to transfer it back all the things I did here now I'm gonna lower the resolution of the model and I'm gonna press a little button here called Gozi which I've already linked to my program. The first time you run it, it links to the certain program you want to use. And I'm going to press it, and then it jumps me back to Lightwave. See, the model is all prepared. It is down here, but I don't really care. Uh, and let's start patching him up. Now, the reason I did all these holes because I didn't really feel like finishing him and patching him up. Now, I'm gonna try to connect him. Now, I don't need subdivisions. Let me see if symmetry works, and symmetry doesn't work, which is kind of a drag. That's something that stuff that stuff in ZBrush does it doesn't really save symmetry very well I can pick these objects and yeah as you can see so I'm gonna check if I have something in ZBrush that can fix this symmetry problem what I'm about to do is use the smart resim that's in ZBrush I'm gonna pick one half of the model of the face with a mask and use smart resim. Hopefully uh, full symmetry. So that'll fix it. Now I'm not sure it will work. Uh, let's try go Z again. And let's see. Okay. The symmetry seems to work. So let's try connecting these points. I've got eight vert vertexes, and yeah, it works. So all I'm gonna do is work on one side and try to fix this. I see some problem here. I really like a clean mesh. ZBrush doesn't really give us a clean mesh, it just gives us something else. But let's close him up. I don't really care about the flow of um, polygons here. So I'm just gonna connect it. Afterwards, I'm gonna retopologize it, create a new symmetry, new um, polygon flow. So I don't really care about how it looks. And when I create my low poly mesh, this is kind of low poly, but it's also high poly. I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, let me sp speed things up. I'll stop talking now and try to close these gaps.
I finished closing the holes. It looks awful. I mean, the topology here sucks. But I don't really care because this is a low poly mesh and um, not a low poly mesh, but this is a temporary mesh and I'm gonna change it when I get to it. I'm gonna build a better lower poly mesh which will hold my character and textures and everything. Now what I'm about to do, wait a minute, I need to check. Another thing I want to do is take this mouth hole take this open mouth and close it. I want to take these geometry, these edges and basically make a mouth shape inside Take these points, arrange them a bit. And extrude them again. I'm creating the inner mouth, which will be housed here. Let's move this out a bit. Start closing it in. Now, this is why Lightwave is really good for me because I can select some polygons and focus on them. I want to close this mouth here, maybe create a tongue. Or so I'm going to take this, and symmetry doesn't work here, of course, so I'm going to have to cancel it. Now, the only reason symmetry doesn't work is because of ZBrush. Lightwave has a perfect symmetry, although, so I'm just going to close up these holes here Take this and mirror it, uh, and I'll merge the points. Too much. Let's 
around. And let's see, you see these uh, points mean that it's not connected somewhere there. Okay, so we've finished working on our model, closing all the holes. The eye holes are going to stay that way for a bit. And let's transfer the model back to ZBrush. Now to do so, I have to press this Go Z button here. And it's going to ask me, do you want to transfer the high resolution detail to the modified mesh? That's all the things we did here before. And I'm going to say yes. And the final result is a closed mesh with all the transferred data. As you can see, it's in the highest resolution and the model seems to be okay, except for a bit of edges here. Oh, snap. Uh, let's see, why is this? Let's check the program. Uh, yeah, sometimes these things happen. Let's go back and try to fix this. Now, these sort of things happen when you transfer stuff, especially in holes. So what I'm uh, trying to do is, I don't know, close this hole and maybe create a better geometry. So let's try again. Uh, yes. Now we wait. And uh, it seems even worse. Okay, let's go back and try it again. Okay, what I did was I closed this gap and did a little bit of uh, fixing here in ZBrush. And I sort of made it go away. I bet there's an easier way like masking it masking it out but this is okay for me. We got some issues here the geometry which I'm just moving away doesn't really matter. I didn't really don't get fixated on a certain design. You can always change it. And now we've got a full hair, head. And even the eyelids are closed, which I don't really need. I guess I can draw some um, eyes here. Don't really care. Here you see the remains of the geometry. Just moving it out. He's gonna have goggles anyway, so I don't care. Now let's copy the color and I'm pressing C every time to um, 
take the same color. Whoops. And I'm gonna smooth this out. Oh, and I accidentally pressed uh, X, turning off my symmetry. So let's do mark resim. Um, let's color this. I'm actually coloring with my mouse because I'm not gonna put in a very complex texture on him so just colors works out just fine. Uh, you see you've got a problem here with the geometry but just move it Again, I don't really care about the geometry right now. All I care about is having a nice model. Excellent. Uh, I'm pressing shift uh, while I move the mouse in order to see from different sides. This. I'm using darker tones to indicate where shadow hits. And actually. Excellent. 